Hello everybody and welcome to SeasideGolf.com presents Myrtle Beach. I'm your host Brian Thomas and today we're in Calabash, North Carolina at Crow Creek Golf Club. In just a few minutes, PGA golf professional Jimmy Biggs is going to be joining the show, so stay with us. SeasideGolf.com presents Myrtle Beach. Brought to you by your local Toyota dealer. Now's the time to go places with Toyota. The Challenge Millions. You can't win it unless you're in it. USHandicap.com, the number one place for public golfers to establish a USGA compliant handicap. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And the Green Turtle Sports Bar and Grill, with over 25 locations. Meet you at the Turtle. Well, joining the show now is Jimmy Biggs, PGA golf professional here at Crow Creek Golf Course in Calabash, North Carolina. Jimmy, welcome to the show. Brian, thanks for having us. Now, I know that you're the new PGA golf professional here at Crow Creek, so uh, it's your new home. You've just been here for a few months now. So let our viewers know how things are going for you at Crow Creek. Uh, everything's going great, Brian. Uh, Crow Creek's uh, a, literally a top 10 golf course in Myrtle Beach, top 10 in North Carolina as far as I'm concerned. Conditions are second to none around here. Uh, bent grass greens, tip sport fairways. I mean, the best of the best, cream of the crop. Well, I know the Bennett family, and they're good friends of mine. I've known them for a long time, even before I, I was here. So. Um, let's talk a little bit about some of the holes on the golf course. I have some favorite ones. I'm sure you do already by now, uh, but the par five number three comes to mind for me. Uh, a, a good good length par five. I actually think it's the longest par five out here, but you can reach it in two with if you really bust a drive like you do. Uh, otherwise, if you're like me, you've got to lay up to 100 yards. There's a split fairway, so you've, you've got a kind of a narrow option to hit there. But if you do hit it, you can get real aggressive with your approach shot. Well, you talk about me busting a drive. I know how well you hit the ball, too. Yeah. So, uh, Number four is a unique par, par four that mm -hmm. comes to mind, too. Mm -hmm. uh, par four, it's got a little peninsula green there with a the bulkhead. Real beautiful shot. Uh, again, with those pins on the far right side, you've got to be... Uh, You've got to be pretty daring to go out there and shoot at that pin. If you're like me, you go go for the safe shot, hit the center of the green, and try to two putt. Yeah, and favor the left side of that fairway because that water goes down the <laughs> oh, right yeah. side. Oh, so. yeah. uh, there's a par three that's uh, not one of my favorite holes because it's very tough and it seems to kick my tail every time. But uh, number six to par three. Number six, yep. Uh, 203 from the tips over the water. Um, you really got to trust a shot there. If you bail out on it, you're wet, you're swimming. Number eight is another par three here. It's the signature hole at Crow Creek. Uh, it's got the nice cabin on it, uh, Jerry McLam's cabin from, from years ago that uh, I know that the family keeps it preserved and everything. It looks fantastic. Um, a lot of people ask about that cabin all the time, but we're gonna head to the tee box. But before we do that, tell us how you play number eight and how difficult the hole that is. Uh, again, a very tough shot from the, from the back tees, about 193 and it's all carry. A lot of people don't uh, hit enough club into this green. Uh, I always like to take an extra club to make sure I get at least to the back of the green, and if I, if I hit it a little little thin, uh, at least on. Well, I know the bent, L93 bent grass greens here are fantastic to play year-round, so let's head to the tee box and play that wonderful par three. Sounds like a plan. All right, Brian. Well, we certainly got a beautiful morning today. <clears throat> We're here at the signature hole number eight. What a beautiful uh, setting it's got with the little fog going across the pond. Yep, we got 193 here, Brian. So we uh, we got a striped one here, buddy. Well, I got a good swing on it, pro. I'm gonna try to knock a little hybrid up there. Oh, there it is. Be in the hole. Be right. Oh, great All shot. Right. Oh, best one of the year. I can see how this is gonna go today. <laughs> You're gonna take advantage of me. Now, now, you know you got the best putter on the beach. I have been putting pretty good on the show here lately. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can't uh, put a little pressure on you. Ooh, throwing a laser beam. Be right. Get up. Ooh, that looks good. I don't know if it's on the green, but uh, I got a chip in a putt. Uh, maybe you should have hit nine iron. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jimmy, I came a little short of the green here on number eight, and I'm going to try to pitch and run this up there and put a little pressure on your birdie putt you got. Bring it on, pro. That was a great shot you hit from that long par three tee box. See what we can do with this. Have a little fun. Maybe I'll chip it in. Oh, be Ooh, right. Be Go good ahead. as you look. Oh. All right. All right. Got my work cut out for par. 
You need the pin? Oh, uh, no, I think I'm all right. All right, I'll get it for you. Good chip there. Typical Brian aggressive. Yeah, we just rolled up that hill a little farther than I thought. Greens look to be in great shape. Yeah, they're Everyone rolling pretty true. So far has been fantastic. I'll try to keep my shadow out of your way. All right, let's see if we can't drain one here. Let him in. Mm, played too much break. Oh, great par though. Thank That's you, thank good. you. All right, B. All right, I got my work cut out. Try to tie you here. Let's see if my belly putter's working today. Oh no, he's got the belly now. A little downhill, a little left to right. Oh. oh. All, All right, right, you got me. One up on this side. That's good. Well, stay with us. We're running to the back side. Great par five, number 18 here at Crow Creek. Welcome back to SeasideGolf.com presents Myrtle Beach. Staying with us is head golf professional here at Crow Creek Golf Course, Jimmy Biggs. Jimmy, before we move to the back nine and play some of the great holes here um, at Crow Creek, let's talk a little bit about Seaside Golf and how important they are to you guys. Uh, well, Seaside Golf, Brian, is one of the best golf packagers in Myrtle Beach. Uh, the Rosenberg brothers uh, mean a lot to Crow Creek. I know they mean a lot to the Pearl. Um, and they, they just do so much for the Myrtle Beach economy. Uh, they also are golfers, which is so important uh, when you're booking your golf package because you want the course conditions, real course conditions. You want to know when the greens are aerified, when they overseed, all that good stuff. And, uh, and, the, and the Rosenberg brothers definitely do that for us. Oh, absolutely. They're important to the, the whole beach in general. And they can book a wonderful golf package at all 100 golf courses around here at Myrtle Beach area. So check out SeasideGolf.com or give them a call on the 1-800 number. Let them negotiate some wonderful prices for you. Uh, I know we're standing here on 18 tee box and what's a great finishing hole here on the back nine. And uh, when you're coming in, you see the back porch and the back deck of the clubhouse, uh, which has uh, been designed to have guys sit out there and have a cold beverage or eat something and watching their groups come in on 18. So mm -hmm. that's a great setting back here at the clubhouse. That's a great little spot once you finish up. You sit out there, have a bite to eat, maybe a cocktail, do a, a little putting contest or something while you wait for your guys to finish. Crow bar inside is, is gorgeous as well. Uh, great food, good drinks, good people. Big TVs for watching golf matches or football games and stuff as you're coming in. Well, let's move to the back nine and start talking about some of the go golf holes here. And uh, I've always been a fan, I've said this several times on the show, the par fives. And number 12 uh, is a great par five, a little bit tough, but how would you play that as a PGA golf professional? Well, looking at it from the back tee, Brian, that bunker out there on the left-hand side, we, I use it as an aiming point. It's about 285 yards from the back tee to that bunker. So I try to aim right at that, maybe just a little bit right of it. Uh, from there, you've got a pretty good, pretty good distance in. So I, sometimes I'll hit a hybrid there just to try to lay it up to about 100 yards, give myself a good comfortable distance into that green. Uh, set up a good approach shot there. Yeah, sometimes when you get that 40 or 50 yard shot, it's a little bit finicky about mm -hmm. you know hitting that right distance. Mm -hmm. um, I know that you're one up on the other side on that par three that I messed up on, but uh, another great par three here, which is a signature hole uh, also when you're coming in from the entrance of mm -hmm. Highway 17 is number 13. Yep, number 13, uh, about 150 yards from the back tee there. Uh, again, another little peninsula green, so you've got the beautiful bulkhead and the water. Sometimes you see some gators out there. I yeah. uh, usually try to hit like a little soft eight or seven iron in there, depending on the wind. Um, and it, it's a large green, so you want to make sure you get your distance right based on where it is on the, on the green. Absolutely. And tucked back in the, in the back of the, the wooded area here is number 16, which is another great par three. Uh, let us know how about that, that hole. Oh, it's a, it's a great bar three, and uh, I can say I, pr I can count on one hand how many times I birdied it because it is a very tough par three. Yes, it is. Especially when they put that pin on the back left. It's got a bunker right there in the front of the green that that swallows up every bad tee shot. So you've really got to get your club right. I even hit an extra club there just to be sure I'm putting. Absolutely. All right, number 18 again, finishing hole, par five. Uh, give our viewers a little idea how to play number 18. Well, number 18, uh, tee shot is paramount here. You've got you to put it in play uh, if you're really going to have a realistic look at trying to hit it in two. If you don't hit it in two or you don't bomb it like Brian here, you, uh, <laughs> you're like me, you put it 250 down the middle. Uh, and then again, lay up to a comfortable distance where you can attack the flag because trying to hit this green with a three wood is very difficult. 
When you talk about me bombing a drive, I hope I can do it here on the 18th tee box because I'm one down and, uh, and I'd like to at least tie this match up for our viewers today. So you're on the tee box now, so you got the honors. All right. Here we go, B. 18, um, I'm going to take it right at that little electrical pole there in the background. Kind of right center of fairway. That'll give me the best angle at that green there. That looks like a perfect line to me. Let's see what we can do. Well, hit it like you want to, pro. There's a good ball. Left side of the fairway, it looks like. All right, we're safe. Very good. All right, come on, bomb bomb. Let's get one down there. All Pressure's right. on, one down. Comeback time. Nice and easy. Oh, right at it. That'll work. Check him from steroids. Good ball. All right, let's go see what we can do with that. Well, Jimmy, it looks like I'm out. You got me a little bit on the drive, so I'm gonna try to punch one right down here to a good distance, maybe a 120 yard distance out from the green. Uh, and try to save a good shot going in to make birdie. I like it. Fairways are in great shape. Let's see what we can do with this. Ah, perfect, a little butter cut. About where I want it. Yeah, maybe Great 130 shot, out. All right, pro, I'm putting the pressure on you. All right, Brian, looks like I uh, got enough Wheaties this morning. That's the first time I've ever had driven you. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if we can, uh, I think we got about 285 out here. I'm going to try to hit a hybrid in, inside 100 there, give myself a little gap wedge in. Yeah, the hole's playing fairly long today because we both mashed those drives pretty good and we're still a long ways away. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think we can do it though. Oh, beauty. Right down the middle. Oh, be good. I think you're gonna like that one. All right, we can get home from there. All right, Jimmy, it's on now. I hit my shot down here about 125 out. Got a back pin, so looks like 135 to the pin. I'm gonna knock down a little eight iron and see if I can't make a birdie and put some pressure on you. All right, back it up. You hit another wonderful shot up there. You got about 25 yards in front of me, so I might, you might be a little too close. Mm, hold on, baby. A little Keep left coming. of the pin, but I might be putting. All right, he's putting. It was a good distance. All right, B, looks like I did what I actually planned for. I got about 85 yards here. Uh, that pin's kind of tucked in that back corner, so I'm just going to hit kind of a three-quarter gap wedge here and just try to fly one in there tight, spin it, and stop it. We'll show our viewers how the PGA does it. All right, let's see here. That's about right. Get up. Turn over a little bit. Oh, All right, short. I got a chance still. All right, we'll roll that one in. All right, Brian, looks like I left that one short. I don't think you're gonna need the pin, are you? Nope, you can pull it for me. All right, looks like the L93 bent grass greens is coming down to this. All right. Let's see if we can't put a good roll on this one. Go in the hole for him. Ooh. Oh, wow, great putt. Yeah, I left the honor. You All got right. a chance. I got a chance. See if I can't uh, get this to go in that hole. Come on, belly putter. Ooh, Turn in there. Turn. Ooh. Oh. Well, I gave it a good run. Just misread the brake a little bit. I'll give that to you. That's good? That's good. All right, no pressure. I got a chance here to beat the host. Get in there. All right. Oh, great job. Oh. Well, I don't mind losing to my good friend. It's been a pleasure, buddy. Brian? Golfer, stay with us. Jimmy Biggs is coming back for the tip of the week.
This golf tip brought to you by Rockefeller's Raw Bar in North Myrtle Beach. Welcome back to Crow Creek. Well, as Brian mentioned earlier, we've got a great setting on 18 Green here. We've got the clubhouse and the patio behind us there. You can sit down, have a bite to eat, have a few cocktails, and watch your buddies finish up the round. Today's tip's gonna be a bump and run shot. You know, I see a lot of amateurs use too much loft around the green. It's really hard to control your distance with a lofted club. It's too much, too much trajectory into the ball. So what I suggest is try hitting a seven iron. Take the loft out of play and get the ball rolling on target, almost like a putt. We set up to it with a real narrow stance. This will keep our lower body quiet so all we have to do is rock the shoulders back and forth. And literally think of it as just a putt with a seven iron. And I promise you'll get up and down a lot easier using this technique. Come see me at Crow Creek or go contact your local PGA professional. Hi, I'm Mark Rosenberg, president of Seaside Golf Vacations, title sponsor of SeasideGolf.com presents Myrtle Beach. I'd like to invite you to contact Seaside Golf next time you're planning a trip to the Myrtle Beach area. We're the largest independent package company in North Myrtle Beach, booking approximately 30,000 rounds of golf a year. We can put you on any golf course in the Myrtle Beach area, including four private country clubs, for a total of 99 golf courses. We could book golf and lodging, or golf only. We'll be happy to help you next time you're planning a trip to Myrtle Beach. The Myrtle Beach area boasts nearly 100 golf courses making it one of the premier golf destinations in the world. Area courses offer golfers of all abilities a huge range of choices. Prices range from economy to high end, and design styles range from Parkland to Lynx and everything in between. Many of golf's finest architects have left their marks here. Robert Trent Jones Sr., Jack Nicholas, Arnold Palmer, Reese Jones, Pete Dye, and Tom Fazio are just a few of the names you'll find on area courses. Golf Digest recently included 10 Myrtle Beach area golf courses among its list of the 100 best public golf courses in the U.S., more than any other geographical area by far. Our Myrtle Beach golf package prices are all inclusive, so there's no hidden costs. Each golf vacation includes lodging, green fees, cart fees, taxes, and surcharges. But if you already have a place to stay, we can put together a golf-only Myrtle Beach golf vacation for you, too. One of the unique things about Seaside Golf Vacations is that every one of our golf directors plays golf. We're avid golfers, we enjoy the game, and we know the game, and we know the courses in Myrtle Beach. We go out and we play the golf courses, we talk to the pros, we talk to the general managers, and as a result, we're informed about the conditions here, and we'll keep you informed as well. No group is too small or too large. Seaside Golf Vacations provides the same level of service to groups of all sizes. Whether you're flying solo, having a group of 4, 6, 20, or 100, we have the knowledge and experience to put together a special golf package for you. Another benefit of booking your golf trip through Seaside Golf Vacations is we have a centralized booking system. We can book all your tee times centrally. You don't have to contact each course individually. We'll save you a lot of time. Additionally, you don't pay any extra by booking through us. We get wholesale rates. We can put you on any course in Myrtle Beach and we'll save you time and money. Choose from our long list of web specials and get fitted for a customized Myrtle Beach golf package. Either way, you'll save money and time. Also inquire about our other destinations in South Carolina and around the world. Seaside Golf Vacations at SeasideGolf.com or call 877-833-2255. Well, that's all the time that we have for this episode of SeasideGolf.com presents Myrtle Beach. A special thanks goes out to Jimmy Biggs, PGA golf professional here at Crow Creek Golf Club in Calabash, North Carolina. Golfers, remember, when you want to book that great package for the Myrtle Beach area, you can check out the website at SeasideGolf.com or give them a phone call on the 1-800 number and let them negotiate a great price for you to come to Myrtle Beach. I'm your host, Brian Thomas, and until next time, hit them like you want to. SeasideGolf.com presents Myrtle Beach. Brought to you by your local Toyota dealer. Now's the time to go places with Toyota. The Challenge Millions. You can't win it unless you're in it. USHandicap.com. 
the number one place for public golfers to establish a USGA compliant handicap. GEICO, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And the Green Turtle Sports Bar and Grill, with over 25 locations, meet you at the Turtle.